What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It is JT Traveler and today we are working on the bike. It is really messy in here. That's my recycle bin. That's my cleanup towel. These are the seats. But yeah, this is my workstation. I'm in an apartment right now, so I don't have much to work with. But the previous tires were 2.25 and I switched over to a uh, 29 by 2.1. I wanted a thinner tire because if you guys watch my videos, you see that I do a lot of hybrid type of biking, very diverse biking. So I'm on the streets, I'm on the, the trails, and I'm off roading. I wanted to go a little bit more low profile so that way it can better adapt to my bike rides. I have also decided to upgrade my seat again. So this was the stock seat. If you guys watched my last video, I went to Academy, I got this bell seat. I tried it out for the last video and my rump is absolutely hurt so bad so i went on amazon and i got this one by velma velma and it is pretty heavy i'm not going to lie i'm just going to justify it by saying that it has shocks on the back since i got a hard tail this is my shock absorption this is my first time changing a tire so let's get it changed out i started already on my 15 let's do it the whole way struggling a little bit but i'm gonna figure it out i've been watching youtube videos One thing I'm so glad that I thought about was making sure the tread is going the right way. Another weird thing I noticed about this bike is that, as you can see, this is all evenly taped, but this part right here comes up a lot. I don't know if that's normal. Yeah, I don't know if that's normal or not. That seems kind of weird. So I'm just gonna document it just in case. Now I have no idea how to put this on. Oh, but I'm gonna start with one, only putting on one side first. that is all tough phone call hello hello all right so i think we're looking i think we're looking good and now i'm probably gonna have to get my pry bar up. yep i'm gonna have to get my pry bar out right, let's try sliding it yeah, it works i cut myself on the rim Woo! maybe we slide it. oh we slide it oh so you slide it on the rim so you put it right here when you get to the end and you slide it and it pushes everything in. Cool. All right, so we got the tire seated. I am so glad that I bought this pump because it has both the standard bit thing, whatever you call it, and it has the one that goes for this system. It has this little, little rotating bit that when you rotate it down, you can release the air, and then when you're ready to go, you can screw it back up, and then it keeps the air from coming out. Good, I don't see any tire pop peeking out. I would say that's a pretty good difference. Mainly the tread is lower on this one. And the guy told me that it's more versatile than the standard tires that came with it. Also these tires feel like a lot more, a lot better quality than this one. They kind of feel like balloons, but they're pretty good. The standard ones, or the stock ones that came with it. So we got that one figured out. Let's go ahead and take this one off. I, I bought this bike also because it has these quick release. Oh man. Oh man, that one's on there good. I'm gonna have to get like a pry bar or something. Oh man, did I get that stuck? Oh my gosh. I put that on way too tight. There we go. All I had to do was lift up on the shifter. All right, bet. And that lets out all the stinky air. pushing as hard as I can. I can't do it with my mere mortal fingers. Flip it over and try the other side again. So I was prying this open at first. I thought the red tape was because of me, but it wasn't because of me because I haven't pried on this side and that red tape is going back already. So I am not the culprit this time. 
But yeah, I have a terrible time getting this side off. I don't know, it feels like it's glued on. I don't know why. We finally did it. That was super duper hard. I'm gonna give the level of hardness and stress and just overall complications a, a eight out of 10. I don't know what those previous tires were on, but that was extremely hard. I don't know if I was doing it wrong. I don't know if I did it right. By God done, we're getting new tires on. Put the tubes in. Now they They're about forty dollars each, so eighty dollars in total for these. They're the here's the specs of them. They're the giant, twenty nine by two point one zero. Guy flipped over, but I forgot to mention that I took off the stickers on the wheel wells and then on the suspension in the front as well. I do have to take off this warning sticker, and I'm going to leave these reflectors on. Just because when I'm traveling, sometimes I wear all black and it helps out a little bit in their visibility. So might as well keep it on there. I'm not a hardcore mountain biker, so I don't really care about looking goofy. This is the seat that we're going to be getting rid of. It's very lightweight and it's padded, but I'm not used to this and this hurts so bad. I biked for 20 miles the other day and this kilt me. So. This one is meant for, this is so much heavier though. It does have the shocks on there, but this is heavy. That's the profile and that's the original. So we're gonna put this one on. Yo, yo, shock absorption. The seat is on, the tires are on. They're facing the right way, allegedly. Last piece to this puzzle is the bicycle stem razor. We have to install that. I also have a kickstand coming, but this is the last modification we're going to be doing tonight. It's from Leardway. This is one of the cheap ones, I think. It's an aluminum razor. Check it out. Got it in black. Okay. Tools. And now we got to figure out how to put this all together. All right, take that part off. I got to take this part off. But I've been noticing that my fingers have been getting really greasy. I probably should have got some like lubrication for when I'm putting all this stuff together. That's something I'll have to remember in the future. All right, so I got the stem riser on. Help me! I had you spot me. Good. Please push me over. <laughs> push me over. Okay. Uh, gotta put the steering this, this down a little bit more. Balance me. Woo! <laughs> was not ready for that one. Balance me. Let me get with the window so I don't fly out of it. Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> We're gonna both fall through the window. I know why you don't write buttons. <laughs> there we go. Ah! Yeah, it's good. This looks goofy. There's no way around that. And I'm scared that if I'm like off-roading and like I skip miss a pedal, I'm gonna fall right into this and that's gonna hurt. I don't really know how I feel about this design. The problem was that this couldn't go all the way down uh, to touch the edge. Next up, I think that's all the modifications. Yeah, that's it. It's dark outside. Oh, uh, wait. This tire feels weird. I noticed this weird little kink in the tire. And look at that. That thing's twisted up. Where's the other twist? Right there. Wait, look at the light. Twisted. So now we have to fix what we, we were so close. That looks so goofy. You guys see that bus right there? <laughs> All right guys, we're out on some trails. We're gonna test out the modifications we've done to the bike so far. Let's just run through what I did. Once again, we got those tires, the 2.1 tires. They feel amazing on the road and on trails. Uh, we haven't upgraded the pedals, but that's something we definitely have to do next paycheck for real. Uh, next thing we have to address is water holder, water bottle holders, definitely gotta get that. I'm gonna make a bag for this section right here. So that may be a separate video, I may do that off camera. This is the upgraded seat and I've rode this around and it's amazing. 
it has the shocks on the back and it's worth it for the extra weight uh, for sure we finally got a kickstand by Rebel. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's R B R L. Uh, it's a pretty good kickstand. Very heavy duty. Hasn't moved on me, and it's adjustable too. So kick that red button. It can lower, and then it can extend. Very handy. And I think low key, I think this is for stakes. So if it's very windy, you can put a stake down, and uh, it'll stay in place. For sure, need to upgrade the pedals. These pedals are not good for off-roading so i think only from here i may take it to a shop to cut this down a little bit and then just upgrade the pedals and we're all good but let's go right around and see how we do i have learned how to get up curbs now so i should fare a little bit better there's a lot of people on the trails right now as you can see they got the groups out so hopefully i don't get in their way as you can see it's dark and ominous It feels good outside, it's like 80, 80 degrees. So there's some creepy paths uh, around here. I want to take, I don't have my gloves on. I gotta get some gloves. Yeah, but look how spooky it is in here. Shift it down a little bit, I want to do more pedaling. Straight. and head smack. Definitely gotta wear some glasses when you do this. So that way you don't get flicked by a branch in your eye. Ooh. Uh, it leads to a neighborhood, okay. That's cool. So I think these little areas fill up with rainwater when it's raining. But I don't know what happens after. What do they do with the water? They feed it right back to us? Probably, that makes sense. Why not? I'm going back on this ridge. I'm gonna put you guys up right here. this area right here let's drop in oh yeah yeah I'm learning how to shift my weight if I'm going up an incline or down shifting back but man this seat helps out so much like before this is a hardtail bike so before it felt really harsh but now it has so much more cushion on my pushing let's go here this is a creepy one Spooky guys. Working on my speed shifting or my weight shifting. Still smooth. Ooh, shit got on the brakes. These are for jumps. I'm not ready for jumps yet. Ooh, what's over here? Oh my god. Oh. Not quite ready for that one yet. But maybe this will be a future goal to probably go down that, survive, and go up. Because this is really my first time doing stuff like this. Oh, somebody's coming. Sorry. Well, once I am outside biking, that phone call Loki probably saved me from crashing into her. I'm pretty sure this is the right way to go because the arrows pointed this way. Go outside, transfer to the other outside, come back and go into the outside. Let's work on that. Go slow. Outside, outside. Ooh, tricky moment. Back outside. Watch out for the roots. Gain some momentum. Yeah. Outside. Shift outside to outside. You know how strong these roots have to be? They go through rock. Like they are stupid strong. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. I should have let air out my tire. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Kickstand, look at that. 
That's so amazing. I love that. So all you gotta do is spin this and then push up. Or down. Depending on where it's facing. Okay. That feels pretty good. The cap that came with this tire was not good. So that's why I don't have it because I screwed it right through the top. Cool. Burning it. Try to get to that level soon. One day. Okay. Hopefully no snakes sneak up on me and bite me on my butt. Okay, that's good. Don't need too much on that one. Kind of lost, not gonna lie. I have no idea where I'm at, but I do hear cars, so that's my reference. All right, I feel it's way better. I emptied out some air. All right, let out some air. Ooh, bumpy. There goes the road. So let's see where we're at. What in the world? Well, might as well go over to the park. Why not? Let's go see what's happening over there. Uh, go outside. Go outside. Switch to inside. There we go. Cool. Can we go down this as we can? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Not bothered it. Alright, nobody. Cool. And I remember I couldn't get up this with my Zizzle Forte. Oh, but I can't with this, of course. Shouldn't even be comparing the two because they're like two different bikes. It's like comparing a a uh, Jeep Wrangler with a Prius, maybe. Prius? Prius is good nowadays, so that's not an insult. Let's jump over this. <laughs> I wonder if we should practice going downstairs. Yeah, let's practice it. Hopefully we don't crash. Ooh, that's steep. <sighs> oh, I was kind of bouncy for you guys, but we did it. It's really hard to do things like that with these pedals because my feet constantly just lift off the pedal. It makes it super sketchy. That looks like a good place to practice going up, going up things. Oh, that's a, that's a wild dog. That's a big dog. Oh wait, no, it's not wild. There's somebody there. Yeah. He's just loose. How about I say? Let's go ahead and get out of here. Ooh. There it is, flooded. All right, go. We got over that. Now, I do love how light this bike is. I remember when I was like 13 or something like that and used to ride bikes. I don't remember the bikes being this light at all. But then again, I was pretty weak back then. All right, guys, I'm gonna take the long ride back to my casa. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys have a good day today, tomorrow, and yesterday. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out more videos in the Biking Adventures playlist. And have a good day. Adios.